Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through what a pre-trip inspection looks like for me. And for anybody that's been keeping up with my shorts videos for the last few weeks, you will know I no longer have the Kenworth T880 that is shown in this video. But obviously this was uh, taken a few weeks ago before our leases expired, and it took me a little bit of time to get it all edited and uploaded. I've been having some editing issues, but we are back rolling and there will be more full length videos coming in the near future. So I apologize for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Um, if you enjoy it, please remember to like and subscribe. So when I first approach my truck, I always check for any leaks, any leaning, any exterior damage to the vehicle, and then I proceed to put the moose bumper down, unlock the hood, and get that opened up so that I can climb underneath and start checking things out. Um, right now you can see me checking all of my steering components as well as all my brake components on that side, and now leaning in to check on my belts, hoses, and electrical wires to make sure nothing is chafing um, or wearing, you know, make sure the belts are all in good working order. And you'll see me climb right up onto my fender here. Uh, this makes it easier for me to check my washer fluid level as well as my other fluid levels and be able to see things from up top that I can't see very well from the ground because I'm a little on the shorter side. So that's pretty much everything on that side. I'm um, checking the last couple of things and then I'm going to go over to the other side and basically do the same thing over there. All right, now over here on the other side, we're basically doing the same thing, slightly different layout, and there's no steering wheel on this side, so there are some less steering components, but otherwise pretty much the same. Checking my brakes, my leaf springs, and everything else down in there right now, and then I'm checking my hoses, and I'm going to climb up on the fender so I can check my coolant level and the other hoses that are coming out of the radiator and the coolant and all that stuff. Um, and otherwise, it's, it's all pretty much the same as the other side. So, get that all checked out, and once we are sure everything looks good, we're going to go ahead and unlock the hood and get it shut. And when I say I'm unlocking the hood to close it, um, that's because there is a safety mechanism on these hoods that when you open them, it locks them in place so that it's impossible for them to come back at you while you're underneath them. Um, I feel like that'd be pretty hard to do, but I guess if there was like really high winds or something, you, know, you can't shut the hood without unlocking that safety mechanism anyways. So unlock that, shut the hood. There is a latch on either side to lock it in place once it's shut. And then we're going to go ahead and put up the moose bumper and lock that into place as well. And go ahead and start walking around the outside of the truck and checking out everything um, that way. So we've got that moose bumper all locked up now. And first step to doing my walk around is I usually climb up in the truck and turn my headlights and four ways on um, so that I can check those as I'm doing my walk around. I don't think I recorded it at the end, um, but usually I check my high beams and my brake lights at the end of my pre-trip. Uh, once I've done everything else, I go in and throw my high beams on, make sure those are working. And then I put my chalk block onto my brake pedal so that I can go ahead to the back of the trailer and just make sure that the brake lights are working properly. So we've got those running and we're gonna go ahead and do our walk around. All right, so I went ahead and checked my lights in the front and now we're gonna work our way down the side of the vehicle. We're checking all of our steps, all of our handles, making sure everything is secure, nothing is wearing out, all of our hoses and electrical lines that run from our truck to our trailer, make sure those are secure and I always check underneath to make sure um, that the drivetrain is looking good, nothing's wearing out, our center bearings are under there, and I always like to make sure that those are um, not wearing out at all. Double check to make sure that my fuel tank was shut properly, and then uh, I check my fender and start checking out all of my tires and brake components, lug nuts, all of that stuff. Uh, I always look down in between the tires, make sure nothing is in between the duels, uh, no, none of my rims are cracked or anything else worn down in there. Check my tread depth, mud flaps. I'm underneath there right now to make sure that my fifth wheel is locked properly. I always double check that. And then I make my way down the side of the trailer, make sure my boxes are all secure, nothing is wearing out, uh, my landing gear is secured. And um, then I check the tires on the trailer. Basically the same thing as the front. I check all my brake components, tires, tread depth, rims, 
lug nuts, make sure nothing's between the duels, and um, work my way down all three sets of tires. Always climb in between there and make sure that everything is looking good. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the back and make our way down the other side. As I make my way to the back of the trailer, we check all of our lights, all of our hose tubes, uh, placards. I forget to mention that on the other side, but I always make sure my placards are all the correct number. They all match. Make sure that my bumper looks good, my mud flaps are there, and all that good stuff. Then we're going to make our way down the set of tires on this side. Um, checking for tire wear, making sure nothing's bulging funny, checking my tread depth, checking in between the duels, all the rims, lug nuts, hubs and brake components. I also check the airbags in there. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, but basically just go through everything on each of those axles, make sure everything looks good. Once we've got all those checked, go ahead and move down this side, make sure our boxes are secure, check the placards on the side, make sure that the work lights are good, those tubes are all secure, nothing's wearing, um, all those straps are, are in good shape. Then I check out my manifold. I go ahead and make sure that everything is empty. Um, so basically I open each of my compartments and we have sight glasses on the side of our trailer there so that I can check and make sure no, no liquid is running into the sight glass, um, which helps me verify that there is nothing on the trailer. Uh, just in case something went wrong and uh, something was missed along the way, I always check that before I load my truck. So, closing all of those manifolds and internal valves back up, shutting my side door, making sure I have my cones, making sure my caps are secure, side doors are secure, lights work, and checking my mud flaps, and then onto the tires of the truck again. So, same thing, different set of tires. Tires, tread depth, checking my rims, lug nuts, checking between my duels, all that good stuff, brakes, airbags, fender, working my way up the front and checking to make sure everything is secure there. That's me checking my fuel tank again, making sure that my pump hose is secure, handles, exhaust, steps, mirrors, and then we check that front tire as well. All right, that's pretty much it for uh, my pre-trip outside of the truck. I am going to go ahead and climb up into the cab and do my in-cab pre-trip, which I did not record, but let me know if you'd like to see that video in the future. I would totally do one on that. All right, we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.